welcome back to Car Wow 787 where we dive deep into everything related to semi trucks, diesel engines, heavy duty machinery, and the world of trucking innovation. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss a gear shifting update from the road. Today we ray talking about Caterpillar Yes, the legendary name in heavy machinery that has been driving power and performance for decades. Caterpillar, or Cat as we all know them, is back with a powerful lineup that is turning heads across the trucking and equipment industries. We ray breaking down their three new engines. What makes them different? What they ray built for? How they perform? And what kind of impact they ray expected to have on the trucking world? Now, Caterpillar has been a bit of a legend and a mystery in the semi-truck world, while Cat stepped away from on-highway engines more than a decade ago. Their name has lived on through loyal fans and the enduring legacy of engines like the C-15. But the new lineup they v just introduced signals something much deeper. A serious investment in engine innovation for heavy-duty applications, with a keen focus on durability, emissions compliance, and fuel efficiency. Let us start with the first engine in the new trio, the Cat C13D. This is a 13-liter engine that has been completely re-engineered from the ground up. Unlike legacy engines, the C13D ISNT just a refined older model that has a new generation diesel design. With modern needs in mind, it comes in multiple power ratings, ranging from 456 to 690 horsepower, and delivers torque from 1,850 to a jaw dropping to 1,650 pound feet. That is not just impressive, it is monstrous for an engine in this class. The C13D is designed for versatility, while it is not strictly aimed at over the road trucking just yet. It has targeted at demanding applications like aggregates, construction, and even agriculture. But make no mistake, many in the industry are watching closely to see if this could be a platform. Caterpillar might one day evolve into a road-ready version. What's exciting is the way the C13D delivers power at low RPMs, which not only saves fuel, but also puts less stress on the engine over time. That means lower total cost of ownership longer service intervals, and more uptime a big deal for fleet operators and independent owner-operators alike. One of the major improvements Caterpillar made with the C13D is around emissions. As you'd expect, this engine is designed to meet U.S. EPA tier for final NEU Stage V emissions standards, but it does it in a smart way. The after-treatment system is more compact. And Caterpillar claims it significantly reduces the need for active regeneration. That is a huge benefit because fewer regenes mean fewer delays and less downtime. Plus, CAT has integrated its own suite of digital monitoring tools to keep tabs on everything from temperature to pressure, offering predictive maintenance alerts and real-time diagnostics. Next up, let's talk about the CAT C18, another powerhouse that's drawing serious attention. The C18 isn't new in name, but this new version is far more advanced than what we've seen before. It's a six-cylinder, 18.1-liter diesel designed to bring massive torque and power to the most demanding off-road and stationary power applications. With horsepower ratings stretching up to 800 and torque that can hit 3,500 pound-feet depending on configuration, this engine isn't playing around. What makes the new C18 stand out isn't just the raw numbers, it's the way Caterpillar has engineered it for rugged dependability. Think of mining, drilling, large-scale construction, and even marine applications. The block has been redesigned for greater rigidity. The fuel injection system has been updated to provide more precise fuel delivery. And like the C13D, it features advanced emission systems that comply with tier for final without compromising power output. Caterpillar knows that in the environments where the C18 operates, downtime is deadly. So they've engineered this engine to deliver longer maintenance intervals and to be easier to service. Everything from the filters to the access points has been redesigned with service crews in mind. It's a practical approach that speaks to Caterpillar's deep understanding of what really matters in the field. Now onto the third engine in the new lineup, the Cat C9 3B. 
Don't let the smaller displacement fool you this 9.3 liter inline 6 engine is no slouch. It's a mid-range engine that's aimed at applications where power to weight ratio matters just as much as reliability. With power outputs ranging from 335 to 456 horsepower and torque up to 1,500 pound-feet, it's a sweet spot engine that's ideal for smaller construction equipment, paving machinery, and even some agricultural uses. The C9 3B might be the most surprising of the trio because of how much innovation is packed into a smaller frame. It features a high-pressure common rail fuel system, a twin-turbo setup, and a compact after-treatment system that significantly reduces overall package size. This is huge for OEMs who are constantly looking for ways to fit high-power engines into tighter spaces without compromising on cooling or durability. Caterpillar has also focused heavily on noise and vibration reduction with the C9. 3B, that might sound like a small thing, but if you've ever spent a long shift operating machinery, you know how important comfort can be. Less vibration means less fatigue for operators and better long-term machine integrity. Now, for those wondering about on-highway applications this is where things get interesting. While these new engines aren't being directly marketed as over-the-road truck engines at least not yet the technology and modular design of these platforms suggest that Caterpillar is keeping its options open. Industry insiders are speculating that if the demand and regulatory landscape align, we could see versions of these engines or their technology find their way back into Class A trucks. And let's be honest many drivers would love to see a modern cat engine rolling under the hood of a Peterbilt or Kenworth again. Let's also touch on fuel economy and alternative fuel potential. All three engines have been built with future adaptability in mind. The C13D, for example, has already been confirmed to be compatible with biodiesel and renewable diesel blends, and Caterpillar is exploring dual fuel and hydrogen adaptable variants as well. That's a smart move given the pressure across industries to reduce carbon footprints without sacrificing power. The engines also come with Caterpillar's new digital services platform. Using telematics, cloud-based diagnostics, and machine learning, CAT now offers a predictive maintenance model that can help reduce breakdowns and optimize fuel use. It's another way Caterpillar is combining mechanical excellence with modern digital tools, and it's great news for fleet managers who are trying to manage operational costs. Another thing worth mentioning is support and parts availability. One of the biggest advantages Caterpillar brings to the table is its global dealer network. Whether you're running a bulldozer in a remote quarry or a genset in a critical infrastructure project, having parts and service support nearby is a huge deal. With these new engines, Caterpillar is continuing to leverage that global network to ensure minimal downtime and maximum support. It's also interesting how CAT is positioning these engines in a broader sustainability context. Even though they're diesel engines, Caterpillar is pushing hard on efficiency, emissions reduction, and life cycle optimization. Compared to older engines, these models offer significantly better fuel economy, reduced emissions, and longer time between overhauls. That makes them appealing not just from a performance standpoint, but also from a cost-per-hour perspective over the long term.